Welcome at Pass 2024 at ETH Zurich. I'm here with uh, Damian Rusan from Berkeley Lab. Yes. Welcome. Thank you me. were a chair of a mini symposium. Yes. Can you tell what this mini symposium was about? This mini symposium was about the oldest programming language, which is Fortran, but it's all about the modern versions of that language. And so we had four speakers uh, talking about topics ranging from future versions of Fortran and what, we're, what the standard committee is doing to develop the new versions. Uh, also talking about using Fortran in new application domains like machine learning, AI, um, and also talking about using Fortran with MPI, the message passing interface. So it's, the, uh, it's the library that's used the most for doing parallel programming on supercomputers. So you're telling me that Fortran is alive, it's strong, and is moving towards the future as well? Absolutely. If you checked the weather today, you were looking at the results of a Fortran program. I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> so uh, after this discussion and this uh -huh. mini symposium, what would be the main uh, takeaway message? Well, the first takeaway message is what you just said. It's alive and well, and there are people who are excited about it, you know, actively doing things to advance the language and advance the use of the language in new domains. Um, and I was very happy with the size of the audience. Uh, I have to say that's one nice thing about being here in Europe. In the US, it's sometimes much harder because a lot of people are pushing to move away from the language. I find that when I leave the US, it's oftentimes more embraced, particularly in Europe and also Japan in particular. Um, so it's nice to be here. Very good. Um, so you gain momentum during these uh, conferences yes. and you gain uh, uh, interest. What are the uh, next steps to make sure that you don't lose the momentum that yeah. you have gained here? Well, Fortran is developed by a committee. So the very next step is two weeks from now, the worldwide committee comes together and plans what will be in the next version of the language, which will probably come out around 2028. And um, you know, from there, we're all working on different software projects. Uh, the speakers were coming from industry, like NVIDIA, government labs like Berkeley Lab, universities, uh, University of Miami, and also from NASA. Now a tricky question for you, because you have talked about Fortran, and you mentioned that there are some people yes. that would like to get rid yes. of Fortran. Yeah. But then if you wanted to convince the funding agency of mm. why they should keep funding yeah. a development like the one you just described, right. what, would, what would be your main argument? The number one thing I always say is that Fortran is the only widely used language that has a standard body, a standards committee, that sees scientists as their target audience. Uh, if you're working in most other languages, certainly any of the really popular languages, C, C++, Java, Python, uh, certainly there is a lot of great stuff happening in science with those other languages, but the science is a very thin slice of what those languages are doing. And so it can sometimes take a very long time to get features into those languages that are really supporting science. Thank you very much, and I really hope to see you again at the okay. next PASS conference next Great. year, and that maybe f talking again about the follow-up yeah. of, uh, uh, of your Fortran development and discussion. I look Thank you very to much. It. Thank you.